Hey guys, Body Tags here, and welcome to another mechanic breakdown. Today we will cover flash input buffering. If you haven't seen my other input buffering video yet, you can click the annotation on the screen to watch it. Flash input buffering is much simpler than the input buffering covered in the previous mechanic breakdown, but it is just as useful in reducing the time it takes to cast your abilities. So what is input buffering? When you cast a targeted ability outside of your champion's range in League of Legends, your character will start to move into range and then cast the ability, as you can see here in this Diana clip. Input buffering takes this buffered cast or an ability that has been cast outside of its range and automatically casts it when certain conditions are met. In this case, the conditions to cast are met when you flash towards the enemy champion. We're going to look over some in-game examples to see just how much faster you can cast your abilities with input buffering. So let's get into it. Let's look at our first side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, I am flashing, then casting Diana's ultimate. On the right, I am input buffering Diana's ultimate and then flashing. As you can see, thanks to input buffering, I am able to shave off almost an entire second of downtime in my Diana combo. It's important to note that input buffering is not the same as casting something like a Shen Taunt and then flashing. Input buffering does not work with skill shots. Input buffering is especially useful on assassins like Annie. You simply cast Tivers outside of Annie's range, then you flash and you'll immediately feel the difference between input buffering and casting your abilities normally. Throughout my playtest, I found that input buffering helps out in reducing animations and downtime by about 33%. Your results may vary depending on your ping or your reaction speed. One of the biggest factors of a great League of Legends player is their ability to punish their opponents without a chance for them to fight back. Input buffering allows you to do this. It's really hard mechanic to react to because you just have so little time and it's really great for shaving some downtime off your combos. If you've ever watched a high level player, you've probably wondered how they look so fluid on a champion. More likely than not, they're probably using input buffering. I recommend they start incorporating this into your game and making a habit of input buffering all spells that can be input buffered. I'd also like to give a shout out to Riot MIA. He's a QA analyst over at Riot Games and I reached out to him and he explained to me that Riot had actually removed input buffering in 5.18. However, he was really nice and he got a fix in by 5.19. It wasn't until I had to play solo queue on a full patch without input buffering that I realized just how important it is to my playstyle. And that's it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching and thanks so much for the continued support on the channel. We're about to hit 5k subs soon so if you guys would like to see any sort of special videos for 5k or you have any ideas drop them down below in the comments. As always my name is Body Tags and have a great day.